Our last topic on right triangle trig is going to be where you'll see trig ratios in real life. I split it into two categories. One thing is future classes that you would take in high school. You'll see trigonometry in pre-calculus, calculus, physics. If you attend the STEM program, you also will most likely see it in Algebra 2. You'll also see trig ratios in some of the careers that are listed, but trigonometry is a really strong link between science and math, so any career that requires those two fields, you'll probably have trigonometry. There's two new vocabulary terms I wanted to show you. We have the angle of elevation and the angle of depression. I have them color-coded in the picture here. The angle of elevation is going to be where somebody would stand and look up to see something. That's why the green shaded angles here are the angle of elevation. An angle of depression is where you might be when you're looking down at an object. We're going to go through a couple examples together and we're going to use what we already know about trig. So taking a look at the first example, before we begin, you do want to make sure your calculator mode is in degrees. The problem says a helicopter pilot sees a landing site at a 20 degree angle of depression. If the helicopter needs to travel 24 miles to get to the landing site, how high is it in the air? We need to take our information and put it in our picture. Since 20 degrees is the angle of depression, that's the angle looking down from the helicopter. The helicopter is not going to travel in a vertical or horizontal manner, but in a combination of the two. What we're trying to find is how high the helicopter was in the air. We have the adjacent side, we have the hypotenuse, adjacent over hypotenuse means cosine. So we go ahead and we set up our ratio, the cosine of 20 is equal to x over 24. This is the easier cross multiplication. We go through to find our answer at 22 and 55 hundredths miles is the height of the helicopter in the air. And again, we used angle of depression. Example 2. ADA regulations state that a ramp should have about a 1 to 12 slope in order to be safe. What must be the angle of elevation? This is actually a real ratio that, the that ADA has come up with, and it does include slope, something we know before. Now, while it doesn't talk about specific lengths or specific angles besides angle of elevation, which we're trying to find, we'll go ahead and mark that, we want to use what we know about slope. Slope is the rise over the run. Now I should say in these two examples, it's important that you draw the picture that fits the example. Sometimes you're not provided with a picture, but in this example I did provide you with one. We want to look and see what we've got. We have the angle of elevation, we have the side opposite, we have the side adjacent. Opposite over adjacent means tangent. Now in this case, we're finding the angle. And right now we should be pretty pretty, you know, good about figuring out what the theta is going to be. So we want to use the inverse tangent or second tan to find our answer. Once we find the inverse tangent of 1 divided by 12, we come up with that the theta is 5 degrees, a pretty small angle of elevation. Now like I said before, you're not always given a picture in these scenarios. So in your final example, which is going to be your turn, our example here does not have a picture. So what you want to be able to do is take the information in, a pro in the problem and draw a right triangle that mimics this situation. We will discuss this in class tomorrow.